Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. It's September the 4th, 2024. Uh, today we're going to be covering several things, including Ukraine. Uh, not the cat behind me, of course. Uh, we'll be covering a uh, situation, as I said, going on in Ukraine, the long-range missiles, hostage situation where six hostages were killed. Been a score of hostages that have, that have died. They're both sides blaming one another. We'll be covering... Uh, um, Ooh, there's one other thing as well uh, I'll, I'll remember a little bit later in the broadcast. Uh, before we go there, though, let me just give you guys one quick reminder here. Uh, urgent message to the five docs. Uh, we are beginning to start, and it's going to be a series of messages, one after another there, beginning to release the evidence, the information uh, about... Uh, Carrie Madej and others that have contributed to the death of my father-in-law. Uh, the forensic evidence is in. The evidence clearly showing that this is a homicide. Uh, there are some that uh, we're going to, this will be in the message tomorrow, that want to say that, uh, oh gosh, it was a typographical error. That's what Sherry Timpany thought as well. But the problem was, is we got two different prescriptions from Carrie Madej. We'll make those public for you so you can see. Not to mention, she literally showed me what the formula was herself. So, three witnesses. I think the Bible says you only needed two or three witnesses. Exactly. So, uh, And some people seem to say, oh, move on and forget about it. If you've seen what this has done to my wife and to my kids, the devastation, the horror, affecting me as well it affects the entire family you would see why people just can't move on when you watch a loved one die in agony and then you have to ask yourself that question you know why was she on with Christine Northrup two months before coming to our house clearly stating what her peroxide formula was and then come and inject almost five times greater the amount. I have to agree with Sherry Timpany when she made the statement to me in a feed on Skype. Well, you know, the poison is in the dose. And she said 21 cc's or milliliters of peroxide, she said, is a poison. We know they're shadow banning the video. And so we're asking you, reminding you, letting you know, this is it right here. Urgent message to the five docs, 258 comments. It is linked to by the, uh, regarding the other video too, about the flat earth issue. Yeah, they're actually linked together. I know it sounds nuts, but you'll find out as we release the information in the coming days and weeks here. Also, Yana's letter that she wrote, open letter to the five docs. We're asking for accountability. We've approached some of them already. And of course, there was more fear about what it would do to the movement. It wouldn't hurt the movement at all. It would actually show the public you care about humanity. That's what it would do. When you call out the hand of someone who intentionally did something, that harm someone else rather than covering up the crimes they did. Think about it. By the way, that just, I'm not even going to say anything. We'll let that go. Let's get right into the broadcast here. By the way, IsraeliNewsLive.org, this is where that article is at. If you go to our homepage there, you'll find it. Uh, Right there under Opinion, Open Letter to the Five Docs. You can click on it. You can leave a comment. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. And as we continue on right here into the news here, this is going along with the article here, U.S. close to agreeing on long-range missiles uh, for Ukraine, delivering to take month, delivery to take months. But if you remember, I'd shared with you a broadcast how Zelensky was planning on striking a very important target inside of Moscow before these articles ever came up. And, uh, and that this would send a message to Russia, either you end the war in Ukraine, or we are going to do more. Really, all Zelensky is doing is beating the drums for NATO because they want a war with Russia. 
I, sometimes I wonder, why don't they just go ahead and go to war then? If you want one so bad, just go to war. But I guess everything's strategic. We're all the, we're the ones watching the theater. That's why they call it a theater of war, right? It's really just a theater, a bunch of actors there. We already know that. Zelensky got his little uh, Oscar from, uh, oh gosh, forget the, uh, the actor's name there. He came over and gave him an Oscar. Showed you showed a clear message to you that they're nothing but actors in this whole game there. Sputnik saying no plan B for BB. Jewish sup uh, supremacist state claiming to be democratic is a contradiction. Boy, isn't that the truth there. Said uh, the prime minister statement follows recovery of six Israeli hostages, bodies whom Israeli... Defense forces said were found in a Hamas-run tunnel under the city of Rafah. The IDF claimed that they were brutally murdered shortly before the troops could reach them. Hamas claimed that the hostages died in an IDF airstrike. So both sides accusing the other. And quite frankly, in this case here, I do not know the answer. Uh, I am trying to find out from some sources on the inside of Israel to see if we can find out those those issues there, but thus far, far just not able to uh, find out any of that information. Um, we have Israelis that are protesting inside of Israel right now, uh, Al Jazeera and many other, they are protesting mass strikes going on in the nation. Uh, they're now saying this is absolutely 100% enough. Make a deal with Hamas and free the hostages. And, uh, and, and quite frankly, you know, I have to agree with them. I mean, look, you have flattened Gaza to the ground, flattened it. More than 40,000 people have been killed. The majority is still children. And you had, you know, almost 250 Israeli hostages. Right now, they only believe 70 are still alive. They believe 35 more are dead. And it's easy for Israel to say, oh, Hamas killed them. You know, I can't help but think that Israel, with all this bombing, has slowly but surely killed their own. Don't forget, that is part of the doctrine that Israel has, you know, that if, the, if they're taken hostage, okay, it's better for them to die. And, and, and listen, in one way, I understand that to some degree, right? Why would I say that? Because, look, if I was a hostage, I would not want to be held hostage. I really wouldn't. You know, if you can't get some normalcy of, re uh, of release, I wouldn't want to. But there's just, there's too many things that are going on with this that really makes me question what was the real intent and purpose behind the, behind this entire campaign? Listen to what Netanyahu has to say here. He makes this emotional plea. Sorrow and rage. A week ago, we experienced such horror. Yesterday, I visited in Ashkelon the family of one of the Hostages murdered in cold blood. A day earlier, I spoke to several of the families of these murdered hostages. It tears your heart out. I said to them that I'm sorry. I apologize that we, we didn't get them out. We worked so hard to get them. We were close, but we didn't. And they changed the torment of families worried about their loved ones to families grieving for their fallen beloved. That sentiment I know, because I belong to that family. You know, the thing is, and I think what nothing I was referring to is his own brother who was uh, killed years ago. Um, and, and I certainly, my heart goes out to him for that. And, uh, and my heart goes out for those Israelis that were killed uh, in this, this tunnel here. I, I still, though, 
Uh, Netanyahu says they were murdered. He may be right. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, the the, the uh, Palestinians, or at least Hamas, is claiming that Israel's bombing near the tunnel there set off a gas leak that exploded that killed them uh, with that. And there's a very possibility that could be true as well. Really what it comes down to, though, Israel wanted to be able to root out Hamas. You've leveled an entire city, leveled it to the ground. To me, that's not trying to root out Hamas. You're trying to root out every Palestinian there is. And uh, so I can see why Israelis are angered. Their loved ones could have came home long ago. Even these would have not have died had you just stuck with a plan for a ceasefire. But I guess Smotrich and Ben Gavir is not going to allow that. Um, this also came out on CBS News. Uh, play a little clip of this for you as well. Military pound in Gaza, killing more than 50 people just since this morning, including about a dozen at a school turned shelter. Overnight in southern Khan Yunus, in a tunnel shaft more than 30 feet deep behind a false wall, soldiers recovered the bodies of six hostages abducted 10 and a half months ago. 80-year-old Chaim Perry from Kibbutz Nirai. This is a different uh, group of hostages that were killed as well. Uh, uh, this this came, coming out on August the 20th. But again, a total of a dozen now dead. And, uh, you know, it's just sad. It's completely sad. Because these people don't have to die. And this may be 75 left. Uh, will Israel do something finally to get their release? Or will they just continue to bomb everybody and then call them all martyrs? Now, of course, Israel has turned to the West Bank and just bombing and obliterating everybody in the West Bank as well. When You know, there's got to come a time where people realize this is an agenda. This is a planned agenda. And it's clearly to overtake the entire region. Netanyahu even calling now when this does end, they want complete control of the border of Gaza with Egypt. You already have suppressed them in an open air prison for all these years. And, you know, I, I mean, it's just, where does this ever end? I, I, I just don't see it. I, I don't see anything ending whatsoever. Uh, also, uh, my wife was sharing with me this news here that broke out today. Near, actually, uh, Zen Garcia. Uh, Zen Garcia is a friend of ours. <laughs> By the way, he's the flat earther friend that we have. So, a 14-year-old boy killed two fellow students, two teachers wounded, nine others in a shooting at Georgia High School, jolting the United States with the first mass campus shooting since the start of the school year. What a tragedy, what a tragedy. Um, anyway, and no, I never have stood for the flat earth, never have. And, and, and again, I, you know, no disrespect to those that do believe that. But that's a different issue we'll talk about later. Again, I want to remind you, uh, check out this video here called Urgent Message to the Five Docs. Your support, by the way, right now is certainly very, very important. And we thank you for those that are that are helping us with this. Um, there is enormous uh, need regarding this situation here. We need to get back to normal here at Israeli News Live. I need my wife back to normal with us, working together, bringing you the vital information that we so desperately need to get out. She's been trying herself to really get back in the saddle and exposing those evils that are happening in the world to educate you, um, you know. And, and oddly enough, it, it's kind of odd how all this happened. Her father losing his life, Yana nearly dying as well at that time, nearly died from the same treatment. She nearly didn't make it. And some people would say, you know, why did she survive and her father not? Well, the difference was the amount of dosages. Uh, as he was taken to Florida, there were other doctors that continued Carrie's formula. You would think doctors would know better, right? But 
Nobody knows how dangerous something is unless you know for sure, right? I, I don't know the answer to that. We're going to be getting into these things, though. We will. So check out the, uh, the, the open letter to the five docs there. You can comment as well, as well as the video. And uh, your support here is greatly appreciated, too. So we thank you for your support. You can just click right here and donate online. Uh, also, our website, our webmaster has been getting things squared away on our website there. You got LifeWave, EMP Shield as well, and of course, Yana's dad's website. That's also going to be repaired and done more professionally. We thank you. God bless you, and thank you for your support of our 